The Dragon Ball manga has been around since 1984 and has become a global juggernaut in media, anime, games, movies, theme park rides, and even got into Fortnite. The Dragon Ball franchise is one of the most successful franchises on the planet and it needs to end. Okay, okay, calm down, calm down. I said calm the f down! Now, I realize what I said is sort of controversial. Dragon Ball has a huge fan base, brings in millions in revenue, and has been strong for nearly 40 years with no sign of stopping anytime soon. So what sense does it make to end Dragon Ball? Well, if you look at it from that stance, there's no reason to end Dragon Ball. But if you look at it from a stance without money and nostalgia blinding you, it's understandable as to why Dragon Ball needs to end or at the very least, the manga needs to end. Well, let's take a look at some of the main reasons why Dragon Ball needs to end. The first one being, it's way too long. In 2024, Dragon Ball will be 40 years old. Now, 40 years is a very, very long time for anything to be running. And over these 40 years, Dragon Ball has gradually declined in quality. Now, it might not show with sales, but you can't judge the quality of a series based on sales. If that were the case, Demon Slayer and One Piece will be the greatest mangas of all time, which we all can agree they are not. Now, if we're being completely honest, the Dragon Ball manga has run its course. It was fun in the beginning, sure, but now the series is at a point where it can't provide anything new or fresh to the audience because we've already seen everything it has to provide before. But to be fair, nothing in this world is ever new. Everything that is quote unquote new is simply an amalgamation of ideas from various other series that the author has used as inspiration. In spite of this, Dragon Ball does not offer anything new or fresh since it has already done everything possible. What more can Dragon Ball do that's new or fresh for the audience and fills in place for Dragon Ball and where we're at in the story? How many more tournament arcs can be done? How many more transformations can be revealed until we get sick and tired of them? How long can Dragon Ball rehash old material? And what makes all this worse is that Dragon Ball doesn't have a narrative to tell. It doesn't have a goal to complete. It just keeps going and going and going. Look at One Piece for example. One Piece has been going on for over 20 years with no sign of stopping, but one Piece has a story to complete. It has a clear beginning, middle, and end. Unlike Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball is only going on because of nostalgia and money. However, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Take a look at DC and Marvel. They have characters such as Spider-Man, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. Characters that have been around for twice as long as Dragon Ball. But why do they get a pass? Why can they continue to go on for decades and no one bats an eye? It's simple. They're not telling a continuous story like Dragon Ball. Each comic book is telling a unique story with its own universe and characters. Meanwhile, Dragon Ball is still telling the same story. It's the same story that has evolved from being a simple martial arts manga to battling aliens from another universe capable of killing gods for the fate of the multiverse. How much further can it go? How much higher can we ramp up the stakes if that's even possible? Maybe it isn't possible. Maybe it's time for the Dragon Ball manga to end. Maybe it's time to say goodbye to this universe and stories. Maybe it's finally time to say goodbye to Goku and friends. Ash's journey ended after 20 years. Maybe it's time for Goku's journey to end as well. Dragon Ball had a good run and entertained millions and millions for decades, but now it's time for a new manga to step up and take over that huge spot that Dragon Ball would have left behind. Dragon Ball ending would mean more room for newer series in the V Jump magazine, and hopefully that new franchise will blow up and become a new hit sensation like Dragon Ball. Or how about Dragon Ball learns from comics and just do a reboot, erasing everything and starting everything over from the beginning, or better yet, start a new universe with its own story and set of characters. I mean come on, there is a official canon Dragon Ball multiverse with infinite stories out there to tell. It wouldn't be the end of Dragon Ball just Goku's story, it will be the start of a completely new Dragon Ball series. 
Or, you know, Dragon Ball could just fucking end. It's mid anyways. <laughs>